We're kicking off a brand new week of KHL hockey with three games and plenty of goals. My name is Andreas Achinke and you're watching the KHL Update. We travel to Omsk first where Avangard play host the Red Army. Both can sit second in their respective conferences. Alexander Popov faces his old team while Teddy Purcell makes his debut for Omsk. There is no scoring until late in regulation. Avangard finally finds the back of the net as he can bet on a power play. Kirill Simonov snipes it home from the right circle. That's his sixth of the season. Pirate Army tied up less than 30 seconds later. Kirill Kaprizov steals the puck from the beginning with Vinny behind the net, makes a quick pass to Sergei Shimakov, and Shimakov puts it home. It's a 1 1 tie now. He goes to overtime. Maxim Shalunov splits the deep, drops it for Kirill Kaprizov. Kaprizov shoots, rebound, and Shalunov is Johnny on the spot to bury it. Kirill Kaprizov finishes the night with two assists, and Red Army beat Avangard on the road again. The Hawks haven't won on the screen since 2013 against the Red and Blue. Tonight they lose 2 1 in overtime. We go to Astana Kazakhstan now where Boris take on Yakurid. The two met at Helsinki a few days ago and Boris won 3 2 in overtime. Let's see what Nigel Dawson Company can do tonight. 9 minutes in, home team opens up the scoring. Anton Sakadev cleanly wins the faceoff and Roman Savchenko blasts it into the back of the net. That's his third of the year. Early in the second period, Boris get a man advantage and they make it count. Roman Savchenko takes the initial shot and Nigel Dust finds the rebound to score his 25th goal of the year. There's just no stopping this guy. Early in the third period, now 4 on 4 hockey, Talga Jailal gains the zone, shoots through the screen and scores his sixth of the year. Boris lead 3 0 now. And to put a chair on top, late in regulation as Darren Deed scores an empty net to give us our final. Henry Carlson stops 44 shots for his third shot out of the year, and Burris take it 4 0 on home ice. We head over to Hunte Mansis for our final game of the day. You great take on Vidas. The Beast is for first of this one. Eight minutes in, they can get on a power play. Nikita Viglasov with the marker, Wojtek Mozak and Roman Hart with the assists. Vitas keep creating scoring chances and late in the second period, they score another one. It's not gonna count though, Vitas had too many men on the ice. Shot back to that, Yuger get back even. Sergei Piritakin blasts it home for his second of the year. Camilo Yu with the setup. Early in the third period, rookie Pavel Shev puts Yuger in the lead as he has his second of the year as well. Daniel Yu picks up his second assist of the game on the play. Vitas pulled their goalie for the extra attacker and Yuger sealed the deal as they scored two empty netters. Alexander Golik of an electric originally with the markers. That's how she wrote for this one. Alexander Shurichenkov makes 41 saves and Yuger take it 4-1 on home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update. Do come back tomorrow for eight more games, including Admiral Salavat Yulayev and SKSA Petersburg vs. Dynamo Riga. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.